Let's follow along with the Pennsylvania hunter on his journey with the pink envelope to obtain a Pennsylvania doe license. Good morning. I'm gonna buy my hunting license. Sure. All mailed in antlerless deer applications must be sent in the official pink envelope. Why is this gotta be so hard? The opening round, two, the first unsold round, and three, the second. And date your application and please print plainly. Include a check or money order payable to the county treasurer. The amount must be in US dollars. Completed antlerless deer license applications and checks or money orders must be placed in the official pink envelope described above and mailed with return postage on return of choice. Address is listed in this section. Do not mail applications to the Game Commission. Application status. County treasurers will accept applications on a first come first serve basis. Why is this gotta be so freaking hard? County treasurer enters the applicant into the system. I know my WMU, but my next one, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to find. There we go. All right. One, did you place appropriate first class postage on sections one and two of the envelope? No. I gotta go try and find stamps, and I don't have any, so. I think you can get them at the grocery store. Envelope as required. Sections one and two of the envelope. Have you circled the number of applications enclosed on the front of the envelope? No more than three applications per not specify county name on remittance. If applicants select different WMU preferences, a separate check or money order for each application is strongly this recommended. This is gonna be so freaking hard. So I have to find my checkbook. I don't have that yet, so. Have you signed your both your application and your check? Sign my application, yes. Did you place applications and remittance in return envelope pocket? No, I gotta go find a check and stamps. This is the only time of year I buy stamps for dough applications. And I don't even remember how much a stamp cost. Got my stamps. Almost 50 cents a piece nowadays. So I got my stamps. So one goes here. Get them off the paper. One there. Put the stamp on here. All right, which one of these does this need to go in? I think this is the right one. In you go. Fingers crossed it doesn't get lost like last year. morning. I'd like to buy my hunting license and an animal's license for 4B. That's it. It was that easy. Anytime a multi-generation process is changed or updated, we have to anticipate challenges. But here's how the simplified over-the-counter process will remain in line with the current process. There will still be three rounds of antlerless license purchasing periods. There will still be both resident and non-resident purchasing timeframes. There will still be a first come first serve basis per WMU. And we should also note that rarely does any WMU sell out for the first round residents. The antlerless program is a vital part of the deer management program here in Pennsylvania. With the new over-the-counter antlerless license system, we will provide a better system to our hunters and help continue to lead our nation in our wildlife management initiatives. 
Thank you for watching.